So hello, this is the second go of the video. Keep on getting these stupid pop-ups and I need to delete the actual programs off. So anyway, we are talking about the 2023 annual report and how many coins are actually minted. So currently, so in my hand I have a yeah, 2022 50 cent coin. Then we have 2023s, but these are all commemorative coins. So they have the effigy with the 1952, uh, 2002 date on it, and they're all commemorative coins. So there are no, as far as I know, there's no coins issued for circulation with uh, this effigy and uh, design. Then we've got 20 cent coins. So, do I have a 20, 20, yeah, there's 2022, 20 cent coin, in case you want to know. And uh, here's another one. So, this one seems to be quite common. Okay, and 2010, 2010, no, they're, they're, they're just older coins. So, most of those that I have are pretty much the older coins. So, welcome to my channel. I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Anyway, so let's have a look at the 2023. And as you can see, compared to the 21, which has quite a lot of different dates and production, and the 22, this is slightly reduced. The 22, 23, so this spans the year of July 22 to June 23, so the second half of this year. Uh, the mintage figures are not produced. Uh, they'll be out next year, so you have to wait another year. So, as we can see, 5 cent coins are 22, 24 million. Okay, the 10 cent coins from 21, so they didn't produce any 2022. In this period, we have 5 million. Uh, 20 cent coins, they produce 40 million. 50 cent coins, 22, they produce only 720,000. 1 dollar coins, they produce 6,150,000, so they're going to be quite common. And the 2 dollar coins, uh, they've only produced 27 million. Makes quite a lot. Donation dollar, they made 7 million nine hundred fifty thousand dated 2021 so that's up from five million i think that makes it a bit yeah about 12 million so far and peacekeeping yeah they usually make those as two million each okay then we've got some coins from other countries obviously the tonga coins are frozen date uh, and let's have a look at 22 so as you can see, so 2022 coins, they produced 25 million, 5 cent, 4 million. So this is, seems to be a low mint coin, the 10 cent from 2022. Although 4 million is still quite a lot. 32 million, 20 cent coins. So plus 40 million, that, that's 70 million. Uh, 50 cent coins, you know, 11.6 million. So that makes it about... Uh, wah. A 12, about 12 and a half million. Okay, one dollar coins. What oh, I produce, how much was it? 1,000. Okay, I need to change my figures. So, uh, five, two dollar coin, five million. Okay, then you've got 2021, which all seem to be high. Okay, 20, 200. No, yeah, 24,000. Uh, one dollar coins, 2021. Then you've got the donation dollar, 2021, about four million. So that makes, I think it's the best. How much is the other one? Okay, 7.9, about eight million. And so it's about, it's about 12, 13 million donation dollars. Ah, uh, for 2021. So it should be a common coin. Obviously the two dollar commemorates have two million each. Okay, and then you've got the annual report for them. So we're not looking at 19, 20, just 21. So 
you know, four and a half million five cent coins, one point two five million uh, ten cent coins, uh, twenty cent coins, seven million hundred twenty five thousand. 50 cent coins, we have 1,440,000. Okay, $1 for 2021. It's 100,000 produced. And the $2 should be high. Yeah, 2.8 million. So, as you can see, this is quite low. 113 million coins pretty much they produced here. They 133 million. And they just didn't mint that many of different varieties, 134 million. So obviously the number of coins they produce is a little bit down by 20 million, but it's not a great reduction. So it's only about 15% roughly. And I made a little Excel, whatever, whatever you bloody call this. So... Here we have two figures. If I increase it, we have the website up top and the annual reports down the bottom. And as you can see, we have a discrepancy in the mintages. So the website is 36,700,000 2021. So talk about 2021 first. So we have this uh, 36,700,000 coins on the website. The annual reports, you only have 6,797,000. And it's all along. And the website is 160,000, because this is in millions. So $160,000 coins. The annual reports, it's like 100,000 plus 24,000. So 124,000 coins minted. And then we have 13.9 million two dollars but we've only got 5.9 million in the annual reports and the same to 2022 coins although this this is only in annual reports what's on the website should also reflect the annual reports so what we have is 25 million on the website we've got 49 million in the annual reports so if we look at the annual reports again yeah, so we've got 24 million, and then we've got 25 million. So, goes figures. So the website is not accurate to reflect the number of coins. Okay, where something correlates is the 2022 10 cent, only about 4.1 million. Uh, the 20 cent, uh, this is where I think this is going to be a multi-year issue. And they're going to just keep producing them, probably even until next year. Uh, 32 million 300,000 on the website, but 72 million 980,000 in the annual reports. And once again, 50 cent coin, and numbers pretty similar 11 to 12 million. KD 10, one dollar coin, we have 10,000 on the website, but we have. Six million one hundred fifty-one thousand in the annual report. So it's good. that if you have those, probably just spend them. Okay, the two dollar on the website, five point two million annual reports. We have thirty-three point one million. So do I? Do I have one of those? Nah, I've only got the twenty twenty-one two dollar coin, which. Is God, where do I put my hold it there? And there you go. That's a beautiful, beautiful coin. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get used to this. So I have done some graphs, and if we have a look at those, maybe I'll make myself into a little munchkin. Yay! As you can see, this is the dis mintage figures and the discrepancy. So the yellow and blue, uh, 2021. And if I reduce it, will it lift that up? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, whatever. 
I'm not really that bright. Okay, okay, no, sorry, I was wrong. The blue and the orange, so this one and that one, uh, 2021, and the yellow, and the grey, 2022. So if you look at the blue and the orange, there is a big discrepancy, except for when it comes to the $1. If we look at the yellow and the grey, the 10 cent has the same mintage figure, but the greatest difference is 72 million, about 222 million 40 20 cent coin. And these nearly correlate when uh, it comes to the 50 cent coin. So that's really, you know, strange. And then we have the actual production of coins. So this is, if I can actually move it over. No. Yeah, maybe we will now. Okay, so here we have the number of coins produced. Uh, What we uh, yet yeah, the denomination. So the orange is the five cent, yellow is the ten cent. Then we have the green, which is the twenty cent. Then we have this color here, dark brown, which I think it's dark brown, which is the fifty cent. Above that is the one dollar, which is a lighter brown. And like a pooey colour then no that's a two dollar that's a one dollar that's a fifty cent so I got fifty cent then we had two dollar then we have one dollar so obviously the least amount of coins they produce are in the one dollar range and the highest number of coins they produce in is the fifty cent uh five cent range and as you can see Hello. So, as you can see, uh, the number of coins produced in 2006 compared to now is quite substantial. So, there's been a great, massive reduction in the number of coins are produced. So, they produce, is it mintages? Is that values? Anyway, less than 50 million coins. Actually, no, this is not production, sorry. This is the number of coins ordered, but it does reflect production. So, the number of coins ordered currently now is less than 50 million. Has been for the past, oh, for all denominations, yeah, for the past seven, eight years. Except for when they opened up after the pandemic, there was a slight increase and then it just died again. So compared to 2006, you know, uh, the 5, 10 and 20 cent coin was over 50 million. Obviously they produced, a, the banks ordered a lot of coins, over 200 million in 2005, 2006. So that's very interesting. This is all because of electronic banking. So there's just a massive reduction in coins and that is going to affect uh, coin mintages uh, because banks are just not ordering coins that want them and oh, that might impact our economy so oh sorry no that was mintages yeah I just remembered so yeah, so that is the mintages, uh, 50 million, 100 million, so 200 million there. So the banks are ordering less than 50 million uh, of each denomination per year. And the other one I have is the value. So obviously, here's the actual value of the coins. Obviously, five cents down below because it's the least value. So as you can see, that's pretty much died. It used to be over 
10 million, so this is in millions of dollars. 10 million dollars of 5 cent coins. Uh, 10 cent coins, yes, yeah, same thing. That's also died. Uh, 20 cent coins is a grey. It hasn't died as much, but it's probably been cut in half. Okay, 50 cent coins, obviously, they, these can't buy anything. So it's just change. So it's used to have um, 2005, 2006, probably 24 million coin, dollars of coins, but that's been reduced to, you know, about 5 million. Okay, the one dollar coin. Oh, look at that diving. So it used to be three, 30 million, so that's about 30 million coins. And then after the global financial crisis, as you can see, it's around this period that started to be reduced in the pandemic with only about eight nine million coins ordered and currently it's probably only about 15 million there you go it's got the value 15 million four hundred thousand so and the same with the two dollar used to be about 70 probably 74 million then it went up to 90, probably 92 million. Let's have a look. Yeah, 91 million. And currently it is at 35 million dollars. So it's about 15, 17 million coins. So obviously there is a crash. And that's reflected in the actual mintage figures for 2023. So obviously they're producing a lot of coins. But banks are just not ordering them. Uh, and that's where this comes in. This is where all the banks are ordering them. So this is the numbers they're put in the graph before. So mm, they produce a lot of coins, but so they produced 113 million, but banks are only ordering 64 million. So that's about half. Same with the last two years, they produce a lot of coins, but the banks are just not ordering them. So I just wonder where all these coins are going. <sighs> but, you know, this is in dollar figures. This is in numbers produced. So you need to multiply so you take five cent coin, one and a half million dollars, multiply it by 20. So it's three, 30 million coins. Yeah, to produce that much. But what they actually did produce is over here. Oh, come on. Why can't I go over? Oh, so sad. Anyway. Ah, I'll leave it here anyway. Let's see if it was stuffed up. So, let me know what you think about the mintages. And we, do you think that the 2021 $1 is going to go up? Because it might not at this stage. Unless... Yeah, they actually find coins somewhere. They probably will, I would say. They'll probably put them in there and go, Oh, we didn't know they produced because uh, we can't count. Sorry. Bye-bye.